This is a movie about Freefly Systems Movi, a smartphone gimbal with a rather surprising feature set. Although I've produced a few videos with DSLR-sized gimbals like the DJI Ronin, I've never personally used a gimbal before. But when I started seeing previews of the Movi, I was intrigued. As with other consumer options like the DJI Osmo, the Movi is designed to stabilize your phone. At $299, it's more than twice the price of the Osmo Mobile 2, which goes for $129. But Freefly System markets the device as a cinema robot. The motorized, self-standing device pairs with a well-designed smartphone app to give you cinematic options that you can't get from a standalone gimbal. The Movi comes in a sturdy foam carrying case. Lithium-ion batteries provide hours of use and charging is accomplished via USB-C. Your phone will almost certainly run out of power before Movi does. Like any gimbal, the most important pre-flight activity is to balance your camera and the device. The phone harness is really easy to open using the squeezable clips on the back. I was able to use the Movi with my camera case attached to it. I had no pairing problems with the app. You open the app, turn on the Movi, and the device paired every time without as much as a hiccup. By default, the Movi is set into majestic mode. Think of it as your standard, no-frills, steadicam style shot. The app gives you a few options to adjust the sensitivity of the device, which takes some experimentation to understand and master. But even without fiddling with the settings, you can get noticeably smooth footage out of the box. The echo mode was the most consistently useful function. Press the trigger to set a start and finish point, then hit record. The motor is very quiet, and I didn't pick up any grinding on the camera audio. Not that you trust audio from your phone for cinematic creations, right? Sure, some of the modes are gimmicky. The barrel roll gives you an inception-like camera move. It's definitely fun to play with, but how many times can you use it in your work before it feels cliché? The time-lapse and movie-lapse modes are cool options for mixing up your b-roll footage as long as you're patient enough to record them. Given the price and the size of the device, it's hard to level any strong criticisms. If anything, I became hyper-aware of the iPhone's limitations. The ability to capture fluid motion ironically accentuates the jelly-like appearance from bumps or vibration. Still, it's pretty unbelievable to film at 240 frames per second with a portable Steadicam that weighs 600 grams. The Movi occupies a weird space in the market. It's only designed to hold devices up to 3.5 inches in width, and the software currently only supports the iPhone. So the technical quality is limited by your phone's specifications. But the cinematic movements are definitely as good as much pricier equipment designed for heavier cameras. The Movi is perfect for vloggers and social media influencers looking to up their production value. Even professional photographers might consider this device for BTS footage. As with all our gear reviews, I try to figure out how this item fits into a photographer's arsenal. Movi is easy enough to use and gives you instant gratification out of the box, but with its more advanced features, my main takeaway was feeling inspired to find my next shot. And if you're looking for a photography website, PhotoShelter has you covered. Try one of ours for free for 14 days at PhotoShelter.com.